All right, friends, we are going to have some fun today playing D and D. First, I need you all to pull out your textbooks to chapter three. Spell casting. This is how I felt when I was learning to play D and D, like I was back in school, reading text that I couldn't comprehend, wording that didn't make sense in my brain, all to play a game that's supposed to be fun. And nothing was more confusing than learning D&D spellcasting, especially trying to figure out the nuances to every single class. In this video, I am going to simplify D&D spellcasting and detail the specific mechanics that you need to know for each D&D class. In D&D, every spell is associated with a level. These levels range from 0 to 9. Let's start with level 1 through 9 spells. Level 1 through 9 spells are a limited resource, meaning you can only cast a certain amount of each level spell before taking a long rest. This mechanic is represented by spell slots. Your character will gain more spell slots as they get stronger. Here is an example. A character has four first level spell slots and three second level spell slots. The character casts a second level spell. After they cast the spell, the character now only has two second level spell slots available. The character takes a long rest, which is basically going to bed for the night, which refreshes all of their spell slots. This means the character returns to having four first level spell slots and three second level spell slots. The character gets stronger, also known as leveling up, and gains two third level spell slots. Now the character has four first level spell slots, three second level spell slots, and two third level spell slots. Now let's return to level zero spells, which are commonly referred to as cantrips. Cantrips are spells your character can cast at will. This means there is no limit to the amount of times your characters can cast these spells. So cantrips can be cast an unrestricted amount of times, while level 1 through 9 spells can be cast a limited amount of times, as dictated by your character's available spell slots. Preparing Spells there are hundreds of spells in D&D, but your character will not have access to all of them at a given time. This is where the mechanic of preparing spells comes into play. Think of preparing spells like packing a suitcase for a trip. When you're on that trip, you can only wear the clothes that are in the suitcase. You can't wear the clothes that are still in your closet. In D&D, your character will prepare spells. Your character can only cast spells that they have prepared. You can't cast spells you don't have prepared. So preparing spells is your character's suitcase. Another piece to understand is that every class has their class specific spell list. This means that your character will only be able to prepare spells in their spell list, determined by your character's class. To return back to the suitcase metaphor, you can only pack clothes that are in your closet. You can't pack clothes that are still at the mall. In D&D, you can only prepare spells in your class-specific spell list. You can't prepare spells that are not in your class-specific spell list. Lastly, cantrips and level 1 through 9 spells are treated separately when it comes to the number of spells your character can prepare and changing that list of prepared spells. This will make a lot more sense as we transition to the class-specific spellcasting guide. Here's the guide that I'll be using as we step through each specific class. Primary versus partial spellcasters. Primary spellcasters have access to level 1 through 9 spells as they level up. Partial spellcasters will only have access to level 1 through 5 spells as they level up. I won't dive into how many spell slots each class gets at each level in this video, but I would suggest going to D&D Beyond, finding your class, then go to the classes table if you want more specifics. 
spellcasting ability. This is the ability score that affects your character's spell save DC and spell attack modifier. Basically, you want a high score in this ability because it will increase the chance of your spell working. Next, I will cover the number of cantrips and the number of level one through nine spells that your character can prepare. And if and when your character can change that prepared list of cantrips and level one through nine spells. To simplify and standardize my nomenclature, I will continue to refer to level zero spells as cantrips, and I will start to refer to level one through nine spells as spells. So cantrips are cantrips, and level one through nine spells are just spells. Last spell slot refresh. This is when you get all of your spell slots back. Let's start the class specifics for spell casting, going through the classes with spell casting ability in alphabetical order. Artificers. Artificers are partial spell casters, meaning they have access to level one through five spells. Their spell casting ability is intelligence. The number of cantrips they can prepare increases from two to four as they level up, and they can swap one of these cantrips every time they gain a level. The number of spells they can prepare is their intelligence modifier, which is usually a number between one and five, plus half of their artificer level rounded down. And they can change their prepared spells after a long rest. Lastly, their spell slots refresh after a long rest. Bards. Bards are primary spell casters, meaning they gain level one through nine spell slots as they level up. Their spell casting ability is charisma. The number of cantrips they can prepare increases from two to four as they level up, and they cannot change their prepared cantrip list. The number of spells they can prepare is determined by their class level. Go search out the bard class table if you want the specifics. And you can swap one of these prepared spells as your character levels up. And finally, spell slots refresh after a long rest. Clerics. Clerics are primary spell casters, meaning they get access to level one through nine spell slots as they level up. Their primary spell casting ability is wisdom. The number of cantrips they can prepare increases from three to five as they level up and they cannot change their prepared list of cantrips. The number of spells they can prepare is their wisdom modifier, which is usually a number between one and five, and their level in cleric. And they can change their prepared spell list after every long rest. And again, their spell slots refresh after a long rest. Druids. Druids are primary spell casters, which means they get access to level one through nine spell slots as they level up. Their spell casting ability is wisdom. And for cantrips, the number of cantrips they can prepare increases from two to four as they level up. And druids cannot change their prepared list of cantrips. The number of spells a druid can prepare is their wisdom modifier, which is usually a number between one and five, plus their level in druid. They can change their prepared spell list after every long rest. Their spell slots refresh after every long rest as well. Paladins. Paladins are partial spell casters, meaning they get access to level one through five spell slots as they level up. Their primary spell casting ability is charisma. And paladins don't get access to any cantrips. The number of spells a paladin can prepare is their charisma modifier, which is normally a number between one and five, plus half of their paladin level rounded down. They can also change their prepared spells after a long rest. And again, their spell slots refresh after a long rest. Rangers. Rangers are partial spell casters, meaning they get access to level one through five spell slots as they level up. Their spell casting modifier is wisdom and rangers don't get access to any cantrips. The number of spells they can prepare is determined by their class level. Search the rangers class table on D&D Beyond for more specifics. When it comes to changing your prepared spells, you will be able to swap one spell every time your character levels up. Their spell slots also refresh after a long rest. Sorcerers. Sorcerers are primary spell casters, meaning they get access to level one through nine spell slots as they level up. Their primary spell casting ability is charisma. 
The number of cantrips they can prepare increases from four to six as they level up. And sorcerers cannot change their prepared list of cantrips. The number of spells a sorcerer can prepare is determined by their class level. I would suggest going to D&D Beyond and finding their class table for more specifics. As far as changing your prepared spells, you will be able to swap one spell every time your character levels up. And your spell slots will refresh after a long rest. Wizards. Yeah, I know this is not alphabetical order. I is after A, so Warlocks should be before Wizards, but I have good reason for it. And if you know a little bit about D&D, it is because Warlocks are super confusing, so I wanted to save them for the end. But Wizards have a bit of a nuance as well that I will get into. Wizards are primary spellcasters, meaning they get access to level one through nine spell slots as they level up. Their spellcasting ability is intelligence. The number of cantrips they can prepare increases from three to five as they level up. And they cannot change their prepared list of cantrips. The number of spells they can prepare is their intelligence modifier, which is normally a number between one and five, plus their level in wizard. And wizards can change their prepared spells after a long rest. Wizard spell slots do refresh after a long rest. Let's talk about the nuance, which is the wizard spell list. Just like other classes, there is a wizard specific spell list of all the spells that a wizard could cast. Unlike other classes, wizards do not have full access to their spell list. Instead, wizards only have access to prepare spells from their spell book. There are two ways that you can add spells to your wizard spell book. One, Every time you gain a level in Wizard, you can automatically add two additional spells to your spellbook. Second, you can also copy Wizard spells from other spellbooks or spell scrolls that you might find during your adventure. In a practical sense, think of your Wizard spell list as your Wizard spell book. Your Wizard will be able to pick which spells to prepare from your spell book on a daily basis. Warlocks. Like I said, warlocks are complicated and strange when it comes to D&D. Warlocks are not a primary spellcaster. They're not a partial spellcaster. Let's just call them special. Their spellcasting ability is charisma and the number of cantrips they can prepare increases from two to four as they level up and Warlocks cannot change their prepared list of cantrips. The number of spells a Warlock can prepare is determined by their Warlock level. I would suggest finding the Warlock table on D&D Beyond for more specifics. Changing their prepared spells, you will be able to swap one spell every time your Warlock levels up. This is why I included the spell slot refresh section because warlocks refresh their spell slots after a short rest. And this is just the tip of the warlockian iceberg because warlocks spell slots are weird and unlike any other class in D&D. So the total number of spell slots a warlock ever gets increases from one to four as they level up. At first level, they get one spell slot. From second to 10th level, they get two. From 11th to 16th level, they get three. And from 17th level to 20th level, they get four spell slots. This makes sense when you realize Warlocks can only cast a certain level spell. First and second level Warlocks have first level spell slots. Third and fourth level Warlocks have second level spell slots. Fifth and sixth level warlocks have third level spell slots. Seventh and eighth level warlocks have fourth level spell slots. And ninth through 20th level warlocks have fifth level spell slots. Don't fret, you will get access to level sixth through ninth level spells through a warlock feature called Mystic Arcana. It is quite clear that warlocks don't have as many spell slots as all of the other spell casting classes. But getting back all of your spell slots after a short rest, which is one hour of downtime, does mean your warlock will be able to refresh their spell slots while all the other classes won't be 
on a short rest. I hope through this video you got what you needed, and if you didn't, please let me know so I can cover it in my next videos. It's very clear that D&D spellcasting is complex, and in my opinion, needlessly confusing, and I hope that in future iterations of the game, they make it a lot more streamlined to reduce the learning curve for the game. But if this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel as I will be continuing to put up more D&D content. Oh, and if you're looking for a D&D game, I made a video on my top tips to finding a D&D game that is right for you. As always, I'm Brandon and thank you for watching.